Come on over here. I ain't gonna bite you. All right. <clears throat> Coach on the road with the MLB stars of the game, and I got my hero here, DM. <laughs> how we doing? Good, man. How are you? Just fine. Good. Love that. Now, you know, we're gonna take our youngsters on this little roller coaster ride that Major League Baseball can take you through. Yep. I mean, you have some highs and lows. I mean, how do you deal with that? You just got to keep persevering. I mean, I think the best thing to do is trust in yourself, believe in yourself, um, and trust the process. You're going to, you know, you're going to fail more than you're going to succeed in this game. And um, being able to overcome that and, and trust in that, you know, the next day is a new day. And that's kind of the, the way I've thought about it. Pitch by pitch, if I don't win that pitch, I'm going to win the next pitch. So that's kind of my mindset. Now, a lot of guys look at you major league guys and they think this game's so easy. They understand how tough this road is. Yeah, it is. It's very tough. And I think that's the, the part of, you know, trusting in yourself. When you're young, you know, no matter what happens, you just trust yourself. You know that you're going to work hard. You go out the next day, you work harder. And uh, all of a sudden you find yourself wearing a major league uniform. And then when you look out that, on that field and you face a major league pitcher, I mean, does this sometimes get intimidating? I think it's, it's what you make it. Um, you know, it's the same thing as when you're playing, if you're a 10-year-old and you're playing with 12-year-olds. Um, you can make it intimidating, but it's never supposed to be. You, got, you always got to have that mindset of, I'm just as good, if not, I'm better. Um, and, and that's how you succeed, because if you go up there and you're scared or you go up there and you're, you're timid, it's gonna, it's gonna, that's what's going to produce. So, I mean, when you think about this game, I mean, how do you deal with adversity? How do you deal with injuries personally? Yeah, I think I just use it as another way to get better. Um, an injury is God's plan, and uh, to go out there and, and just keep working through it, to work harder than I was before, um, and to never get down on myself about it because stuff happens, and sometimes it's out of your control. And uh, you just got to keep grinding, and, and like I said, you got to work harder than you did before. Do you sometimes, when you're facing that injury and you're going through the rehab, do you, do you start questioning whether I'm going to make it back, if I'm going to make it through this injury? No, I think the, the thought process is always just, I'm going to come back better than I was before. You know, no matter what it is, I tore my ACL, and you come back and you're like, I'm going to be better better player than I was before. And you work harder in the weight room, you work harder on your craft and all that stuff, and, and then you let the results tell the story. And how tough is it when you work hard, get to the big leagues, and then you get that setback and get sent back down. Yeah, I think, you know, you always got to appreciate putting on the jersey, um, no matter what it is. So, you know, if you have a setback and something like that, you still appreciate where you've gotten, and uh, you stay hungry. You stay hungry to get to, to the greater goal. And, of course, having coached college ball and scouted five major league teams, I know there's a lot of comical things that are going on on the team, behind the scenes that the fans will never know about. What's one of the most comical experiences you had in the big leagues? Oh, man. Um, just honestly being in the clubhouse every day is comical. You know, you get uh, 26 guys in the clubhouse and everyone's got a different personality. It's just, it's it's fun, you know? And then in the big leagues, you get to go on bus trips and plane trips and just, I don't know, guys are goofballs as it is. So you get to, you, you can't put your finger on one of them, but there's a lot of memories. A lot of trash talking. Too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> A lot, a lot of what we played you and what we did and we did that. Yeah, you know, you played against a guy in college or you played him at some point, and if it's a pitcher, you're like, I got your number already, you know? There's a lot of trash talk going in on that, but that's what makes you a, a better player, a competitor. Now, you know, again, we're taking the youngsters behind the scenes. Now, I heard some, some stories about getaway days where you wind up your, 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 your suit going and you find a clown suit or something in your locker room. What? Give, give us one of those. Yeah. Wink, winks. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I remember my rookie year, uh, 19, we had a trip. It was at the end of the year, and, and the veterans brought in clown outfits for us, and we had to go the whole way. You had to put the face makeup on. You had to put the suit on and fly that way. And uh, it's a good thing because it's not like hazing. It's just, you know, building team camaraderie and, and getting everyone to trust you and believe in you so that when you go out in the field, you know, the pitcher knows that you have his back and he has yours. So have you had to sing on the bus yet? <laughs> no, I, ha I had plenty of years of doing that. I did that for, man, two, two, three years. I don't have to do that no more. Okay, so you graduated. I graduated, yeah. So do you make the rookies do it? You can tell us. You I, tell us. I watch. Your name? Mo there's a lot, <laughs> lot, a lot of guys have a lot more time than me, so they're the ones that call some guys up and make them sing, but it's all in good fun. Yeah, it's all in fun. If people don't know, it's a family. I mean, you know, you exactly. look, forward, look forward to see you guys seeing one another from season to season and renewing and picking up where you left off at. Yeah, you make good friends along the way and 
I mean, you spend 162 days together. Mm -hmm. So you become close with guys and their families and stuff like that. So it is, it's a family. All right, let me take you back to these last couple of courts. I know you got to get ready for the ball game. First major league hit. Two strike bunt off uh, Zach Plesak. First major league home run. Oh man, I wish, I, it was here on the 3-1 slider. I can't tell you who it was against, but it was uh, against oh, the pitcher off the Angels. never froze, get your first over. You got the home run ball? I got the home run ball. You got I the hit, base hit? I got the base hit. I got the grand, I hit a grand slam in Minnesota. I got that ball too. All right, so last question. Every kid dream playing in the big leagues. You walk in the locker room for the very first time, see your uniform hanging up. What's that feeling like? Yeah, it was surreal. I mean, it was something that, you know, you're in the backyard and, and everyone everyone does this, but, you know, it's 3-2 count, bottom of the ninth, two outs, and they throw the pitch and you're the guy that's up, you know? And uh, you always have these visions of you watch the games on TV and you watch, you know, Yankee Stadium and being here and stuff like that, and you watch it, and then all of a sudden you actually get here. And it's definitely a little different than your memory, but... Um, You've kind of built that up and you've, you've done it before. Uh, so it doesn't lead to nervousness, it's just excitement. Did you cry? You know what, I don't think I cried, but I was super emotional. He, he cried. I might have, I might have. Mama cried? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I do that, but I do that. Oh yeah. Coach with my hero, DM. Thanks brother, thanks uh, for having appreciate me. Appreciate it, thanks right. a lot. Take it easy. You guys have a good one, right? That's the main thing first, they have to have the opportunity, they have to have different outlets to be able to develop um, that player. You have a, a average player, you know, they're raw talent. And so they need at least two or three, maybe even four years of development to get to that next level, you know, to get even part of their talent, you know, with, with the other players. So um, we need leagues like this to be able to showcase the league, have it, uh, players another opportunity, uh, you know, to showcase and develop that talent. Um, but it, it takes time. Sounds like an exciting time. Again, it's uh, it's needed. Definitely need uh, some more developmental leagues to give uh, ball players an opportunity, uh, just to progress and see where they're at. There's a, there's those diamonds in the rough. There's those players that are hidden gems. Uh, they haven't been discovered yet. That uh, sounds like that's what the league is for, just to give them another opportunity, uh, some more exposure, some more experience. You know, advance and see how far they can go. Click on the subscribe button and become a subscriber.